Hi students, welcome to the platform of eGurukul. Myself, I am Dr. Ramya Shri, I teach obstetrics and gynecology. I have come up with the most requested video today that is missed, or missed pills. How do we deal with a patient who misses her pills? So this has been asked as an MCQ to us. Let us understand the concepts behind it and how do we deal with it according to the newer guidelines in this, in this video, right? So first and foremost, we normally give most of the time it is a 21 days pill. So we give first 21 days the pill, 7 days you can either keep a placebo of iron tablets or a placebo or hormone free interval and after that 7th day the pill is the iron tablet or the 7th day is over you again have to restart the packet right. Now in these pills, in this 21 days pills, first 7 days are the most important. So you should never miss the pill in the first 7 days because first 7 days are acting by, first 7 days are mainly acting by suppressing the ovulation. So first 7 days it is very important because they suppress the ovulation. Next 14 days pills, they maintain the an ovulation. Next 14 days pill, they maintain the an ovulation. So first 7 days are most important because they are suppressing the ovulation. Next 14 days are they're just maintaining the an ovulation state. So how is this acting? Now first you should all know that usually day 2 or day 3 of our menstrual cycle, FSH will recruit the antral follicles. So it will pick up all the antral follicles from the ovary. Usually 5 to 8 antral follicles in each ovary is picked up. Among those antral follicles, one will be selected as dominant follicle. So around day 5 to day 8, FSH selects the dominant follicle. So it is very important for us to suppress that FSH in the first 7 days so that there is no recruitment of follicles and there is no selection of the dominant follicle. So this first 7 days suppresses the ovulation by suppressing the FSH. So when there is no FSH, there is no selection of the dominant follicle and there is no recruitment of the dominant antral follicles. So how are they mainly acting is the estrogen and progesterone in combined oral contraceptive pills suppresses the so the estrogen and progesterone in combined oral contraceptive pills suppresses the FSH and LH. So estrogen causes negative feedback on FSH, progesterone causes negative feedback on LH and that's how they suppress the FSH and LH. So as we don't have FSH and LH, there won't be recruitment of the follicle as well as there won't be selection of the dominant follicle. So this is what happening in the first 7 days. So first 7 day pills are very important. So by now I think at least you understood one point that if somebody misses their pill in the first 7 days, it's more dangerous compared to missing the pill in 2nd and 3rd week. Right? Okay. Next important point is when should you start the pill? So start the pill, so combined hormonal contraception containing the ethanyl estradiol should be started to all medically eligible women from day 1 to day 5. So you can start within day 5 of a menstrual cycle so that there won't be any recruitment of the antral follicles and there won't be any selection of the dominant follicle. There's no point if you start beyond day 5. If you start beyond day 5, then you have to use additional contraception for the next 7 days because there would have been already selection of the dominant follicle. So your OCP should act to suppress the FSH and to cause anovulation. So that will require continuous giving of these OCPs for 7 days. So you should start. So take home message from what I have told now is you should start the OCPs within 5 days of the menstrual cycle so that there is no FSH and there won't be any selection of the dominant follicle. So you should start the OCPs within 5 days of her onset of menstrual cycle. Okay. If she is starting late, then you have to use additional contraception for next 7 days. Right. So you should ask the woman to take every day at the same time. So let us take that she has started today at 9 am. Tomorrow again she has to take at 9 am. If she has taken beyond 9 a.m., it's a missed pill. So as soon as she remembers, she has to take that pill again. Okay. So 
late starting after hormone free interval so normally so this is the uh, guidance of the guidelines which i which i'm going to tell you so if they are starting the ocps late after the hormonal free interval so imagine they are starting after 9 days 9 completed days since the last active pill was taken so it has gone that she should start after 7th day of her of hormone free interval but if she is starting more than 9 days of completed last pill consider emergency contraception if she had unprotected intercourse why because dominant follicle and recruitment of follicles is over okay so consider emergency contraception if unprotected intercourse has been taken place take the most recent pill as soon as possible continue the remaining pills at the usual time condoms should be used for the next 7 days and after everything is over after the 21 days is over consider follow up pregnancy test because there is a chance of she getting pregnant so if you start the pills late that is either if you are starting after day 5 of the menstrual cycle or you are starting after day 9 of hormone free interval matlab ideally aap 28 day tak khatam karna hai wo pack so 28 day mein aap if your pack is over the next day 29th day se you should start the pill but if you didn't start by 30th day then this so whenever and another funda is whenever there is a chance of pregnancy if she has unprotected intercourse you have to take emergency contraception uh, emergency contraception and for the pills to become effective you should use condom or additional contraception for next 7 days okay so i hope you all understood this case scenario see it is not like they'll ask the same question you should be prepared for all the questions right so if they have started late after hormone free interval that is 9 after 9 completed days consider emergency contraception if unprotected intercourse has taken place take the most recent pill continue the remaining pills condom should be used along with the pills for next 7 days and follow up pregnancy test should be taken case scenario 1 is over next if they miss one pill if they miss one pill it is not like so severe that she will become pregnant okay so missing one pill is not a major thing if she misses one pill she can uh, she has to remember uh, as soon as she remembers she has to take that pill okay so if she misses one pill in the week 1 after hormone free interval week 1 is the most important but one taking one pill uh, missing one pill is not a major issue so if she misses one pill in the week 1 emergency contraception is not required take the missed pill as soon as she remembers continue the remaining pills no additional contraception is required if she misses one pill in second or third week also same so if she misses one pill it is nothing yeah you have to just give the give the pill as soon as she remembers continue the pack as she was using before no need of any emergency contraception or additional contraception so missing one pill is not a major issue but if she misses two or more than two pills like if she has missed two to seven pills intermittently or continuously in week 1 after hormone free interval so week 1 is very 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 important and if she has missed 2 to 7 pills sometimes they give in question that she missed 2 pills 3 pills so that is why so if she has missed 2 to 7 pills in the week 1 after hormone free interval consider emergency contraception if unprotected intercourse has taken place because first week is very important take the most recent pill as soon as she remembers continue the remaining pills take additional contraception or condom for the next con seven consecutive days consider follow up pregnancy test if something is going wrong this is the what you have to practice in the missed pills so i hope you all understood Re i'm repeating this again try to print it in your brain if she misses two to seven pills in the first week like how she has started late no same thing here also consider emergency contraception if she had unprotected intercourse take the most recent pill as soon as she remembers continue the remaining pills at the usual time condom should be used for the next seven consecutive tests and consider pregnancy test if she misses two to seven pills in week 2 or week 3 not a major issue week 2 and week 3 already ovulation is suppressed we are just maintaining the an ovulation so it is not like something oh my god she has missed and she will become pregnant but yes so we have to take some precautions let's see what is that 
so here emergency contraception is not required take the most recent pill as soon as possible take the most recent pill as soon as possible continue the remaining pill at the usual time if two or more pills are missed in 7 days prior to the scheduled hormone free interval omit the hormone free interval so if week 3 mein if she has missed two or more pills don't give hormone free interval just continue as soon as this is over day 7 over start again so after 21 tablets are over start again condom should be used or sex to be avoided until pills have taken for seven consecutive days so after she has missed two to seven pills in second or third week take the most recent pill as soon as possible continue the remaining pills at the usual time if two or more pills are missed in the seven days prior to the scheduled hormone free interval omit the hormone free interval condom should be used or sex should be avoided until pills have been taken for Seven consecutive days. Condom should be used or sex should be avoided until pills have been taken for seven consecutive days. If consistent use, if consistent and correct use in the previous seven days, emergency contraception will be not required in week two or week three if she has missed two to seven pills. So I hope you have understood when they missed two to seven pills. So the question which we got was she has missed four pills. uh intermittently in uh, week 1 we, i think week 2 and week 3 the question was so emergency contraception is not required take the pill as soon as she remembers continue the remaining pills omit the hormone free interval and if she had unprotected intercourse uh, use condom or additional contraception for next 7 days if more than 7 consecutive pills are missed in any week consider emergency contraception she has missed 7 pills manage as a new start contraception consider immediate pregnancy test quick start new ocp packet condom should be used or sex should be avoided taken for next 7 days consider follow up pregnancy test so when they use more than seven, more than 7 consecutive pills are missed then you have to consider it start as a new contraception pills okay so 7 days you use additional contraception do immediate pregnancy test and sex uh, uh follow up the consider again after this entire 21 days again follow up pregnancy test also so please go through the video once again if you feeling confused one pill is missed not to worry take as soon as she remembers if she misses two to seven pills in the first week consider emergency contraception if she has unprotected intercourse take the most recent pill continue the remaining pills condom should be used for or sex should be avoided for the next con seven consecutive days consider follow up pregnancy test if she misses two to seven pills in week 2 or week 3 emergency contraception is not required take the most recent pill as soon as possible continue the remaining pills at the usual time if two or more pills missed in seven days prior omit the hormone free interval and next to seven days you have to ask her to take the condom right so this is regarding the how do we deal with the emergency how do we deal with missed pills i hope you all understood the video if any doubts in this video feel free to message me and i'll try to clarify it and uh, this is the recent uh, failure rates so please go through this recent failure rates and try to remember this recent failure rates when you are using no method then it is 85% perfect use failure rate when you are using fertility awareness 0.4 to 5 perfect use 0.4 is for the symptothermal female diaphragm typical use is 12 perfect use is 6 male condom typical use is 18 perfect use is 2 combined ocp progesterone only pills and all your hormonal patch ring everything is 0.3 combined ocp progesterone only pill patch ring everything is 0.3 injectables and lng icd is 0.2 injectables and lng icd is 0.2 copper intrauterine device 0.6 female fertilization 0.5 male vasectomy 0.1 progesterone only implant that is implanon is 0.05 okay so please remember this take a screenshot if you want and but matlab this should be printed in your brain and just have a look on it and you should be knowing this okay 
Thank you guys. All the best. Keep studying. I'll see you all soon with next video. All the best guys.